I'm gonna reread the comment, all that. All right. So we're gonna take it all in again. It said he says not true loneliness. You just have a victim mentality that causes your depression because you feel sorry for yourself. Okay, so that's a bit of it. But the thing about it is, it's like again when I think about it. It's like the victim mentality aspect doesn't make any sense because it's like, what am I being victimized of? I'm just talking about like my experiences, like with loneliness and such, because it's like, even when I am around people, I still feel so detached. I still feel like a spectator. Like I'm not ne like necessarily feel like I am involved with whatever is going on, you know? Yeah, that's what I was trying to say earlier. I feel like a spectator. Why were you yelling? But anyways, I'm gonna continue stuff like that, though. So, but, but, yeah, but that's the thing, though. So it's like, yeah, I just feel like a spectator and stuff a lot of the time with dealing with these things. And it's just like, when it comes down to the the, the dimension of the whole victim mentality, I st it still doesn't make sense to me because it's like, again, what what, what am I being victimized of? Like, and then the feeling sorry for myself. Like, that, that really depends on the context. This context necessarily doesn't make sense in some areas. It just depends on how you talk about it and whatnot. Because it's like, I feel bad for myself, yes, because it's like, I don't like feeling like this. I want there to be a change where I can stop feeling like this. But... I'm not vic making myself feel like a victim to anything because it's like I'm very aware that this is my own personal problem that that I'm dealing with. Nobody is causing this issue and stuff like that at all. I mean, even through the video of me explaining certain things and stuff, it's like yes, I could be around people and still feel alone, or I still can still feel lonely. It's not the people that's doing that though. I may have been through some things dealing with other people, but it's not like. You know, everyone as like a general sense. But anyways, the comic continues and stuff saying like, just be glad you're not a basement dweller with nothing and nobody forever. Honestly, I, I feel like this person may be referring to themselves. Maybe that could be a stretch. I could be wrong. But the guy doesn't even know I'm, I'm actually in the basement. <laughs> Some people do know about this, but it's like conditions of living, it's kind of annoying. And me, so trying to look for a better paying job so I can actually officially move out is quite hard. But I make jokes about me being in my, my mother's basement because it's like, I mean, it's a thing. <laughs> I, I could care less. I, at least I have a place to be at rather than being just right. outdoors with nothing. I still try to bring in money and all that kind of stuff to be able to help. I say try, but like, I mean, like, I have a full time job. Then it's not YouTube because I don't get paid from this. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, anyways, then he says, with absolutely no social skills to ever go out and do anything where nobody cares about you and you have no family and nobody contacts you with a bunch of dots. And the thing about it is, is that. This comment, where again, when he says like nobody cares about you, blah blah this, blah blah that, he's not worth. He's not saying that directly to me. Well, I think what uh... he's, I think what he's saying here, stuff. It's like I think this is more of like a self reflection kind of thing, where he's mentioning this about himself, or, or she, he or she. Actually, I don't even know the gender of the person. I don't even know if they go pronouns they them whatever. I don't understand it. But the point is and stuff. It's that like they're mentioning upon like how. You know, where nobody cares, no, uh, you have no family, nobody contacts you, and all that kind of stuff. I, I, I honestly think they're referring to themselves. That this is an issue that they're going through with. So, like, you know, if we're judging this by the other context and stuff, before I continue reading more, we get to, we get to realize and stuff from all of this is that, like, this is being used as a comparison. See, the thing about it is, a lot of the time, it's like a lot of people don't really go into too much detail about what you know personal issues that they got going in their life because digital footprint is the thing like whatever you say on the internet or whatever you do on the internet it, it whatever you make public will probably stick with a lot of people that's a, that's a digital footprint right there and the thing about it is the stuff it's like i haven't mentioned too much about any issue a lot of the issues i just kind of give people like the gist of it you know like the generalization yeah. of it so i can't necessarily go into too much detail because that's too risky to go too much in details and such based around anything in my personal life because that could be used as ammunition all that kind of stuff against me either in the future 
for whatever that may be. And people are probably wanting to know, like, oh, what do you mean by ammunition? Like, what could be possibly used against you? Is this something controversial? No. It's just more so the fact that it's like there's just certain things I don't want to talk about that relates to my mental health issues and stuff like that. I just don't think I, people should, you know, know about. That's it. And even how, like, the loneliness aspect, like, affects me and stuff. I don't want people to keep worrying about me 24-7. Like, it's, it's nice, but it's like... You know, there are other people to worry about, too. I'm, not, like, not just me. No, I'm not that important. I'm just some dude on the internet. Some average dude on the internet who just makes videos. Like, don't have your expectations high with me. Nobody. Anyways. Um, so then he says, after that, like, nobody contacts you, nothing, Soli uh, solitary confinement forever, no sunlight or shower for weeks to months, that's real loneliness, uh, heck, you still give value to your birthday. Which is kind of funny, because I, I kind of see where he comes from with the whole value thing, I mean, I don't celebrate it, actually, I just decided, you know what, I'm gonna let everybody know I'm turning 25 here soon, and make a stupid video just off of the, the whole idea of it, that's it. Right. Treat it like any other normal day, but it's like, hey, uh, I'm 25 and I live in my mom's basement. <laughs> that's that's literally it. But it's like, again, and now when we take the entire comment like as like full context, it's like I think this whole thing it's like self reflection. That is why I didn't say anything in regards to the comment, even if it was being toxic and stuff like that. Most I'm not gonna say anything. Heck, I'm not even most I won't even delete the comment. It's just, but just looking at this and kind of taking it apart, I really think this this person's just kind of reflecting about themselves and kind of writing about how they feel and how badly they are hurt from the situation they they may, they may be going through with. Because when they're talking about no family, nobody contacts you, and they're mentioning like solitary confinement, like they're probably confined somewhere. Probably a mental in institution or whatever the word is, like like a mental place. Mentioning like no sunlight and all that type of stuff, like you know something probably happened that get that get that person sent there. You know I'm just trying to break everything down based on the context and honestly just think about that's it, kind of sad because it's like yeah like comparing what i'm going through with comparing to that yeah that that's just that just seems worse by comparison if i'm it, but, but that's me comparing myself to someone i think who has it worse because a lot of people don't like want to sit there and like you know do comparison and be like oh my life is worse than yours a lot of that's not really a good thing to do but like me i'm looking at it, it's like i do have it better than what this person does have it and that's what hurts me you know just like just really taking all that in because it's like there's still so many things that I can experience and stuff that, you know, mm -hmm. that they can't experience at all just because of that issue. But other than that, like, yeah, the, the, this, the, this thing went on for a bit, me just kind of just dissecting, like, the comment and such. <laughs> oh, man, but there's, like, a little bit more to the comment as well, too, though, so, like, I can't, I can't really say there's, like, oh, did that shit, and then, no, there, there's more to it. And it continues of him saying, like, also, I want to add uh, that your sadness I, is valid. Oh. The way that you feel is completely understandable, and therapy will probably help a lot with what you're struggling with. I understand where you're coming from. I hope you feel better soon. So, it's like, it's, but this is the thing. It's like, again, when you take everything into context upon everything this person did put, I can't see this guy being rude. I can't see this as being toxic. I just think that he really he or she really needed to get this out of the system to make it known but the thing about it is is that how the comet does start off is still something i do not agree with you can't just dismiss this off saying that's not that's not true loneliness when loneliness is almost subjective depending on the person's mentality and their perspective at how they view it because like oh that's another thing because being alone and feeling lonely are two entirely different things that's another thing as well too yeah i agree with that because being alone is more of like a physical thing like you're by yourself and stuff like that but loneliness and stuff it's more of like a it's more of a mental thing like you could still be a, like a, a group of like people and stuff like a huge crowd you could probably be like at a parade and still feel like you're all by yourself and then that nobody exists but just you.
it's a, it's a weird psychological thing, but like it happens to quite a bit of people. I mean, there's over billions of people on this planet, but still, it's like it it it, it is a thing. It is a thing. But again, like the grand scheme of things, I as I stated, I can't see the comet as being rude or anything like that at all. It's still, I think it's just self reflection, and that's it. Don't need to continue more than that. But yeah, that's it.